Uh, I'm Reed Jensen, if you don't know me. And this video, we're gonna put this light together. In a previous video, I did all the design work and I pre-recorded all that and you can catch that right there. Thanks for hanging around. Check out Dragon Player Industries in the description. There will also be an affiliate link to the LED light. Stick around to see how we put this together with no welding, no glue, and all spare parts. Okay, looking pretty cool so far, right? And the nice thing about this, we cut these so that they should just bend real easy by hand. Okay, maybe they're not super easy. I think maybe where I messed up was by putting those tabs right there. I'm going to have to run out to the brake. That's all there is to it. Break these two sides that have these tabs and then um, I'll bend these two by hand. sheet metal break break this anyway I think these little tabs that I put in there when I cause it I do that all the time but anyway these last ones we'll just fold it over where the cuts are okay seems to work pretty nice then Yep, that slips in there. Okay, so that's going to have a reflective back on it. Also, we left a little gap around there so that it shines light out from behind it. I think that's pretty cool. I might file and fine tune so that fits exactly the way I want it, but it works pretty, pretty cool, and we will flip this little top piece up right here, that's going to be our hook, Coding 
I'll cut it first. We give ourselves a little bit of room in there. Okay, looking at how clear this is, I'm making a quick executive decision. We're going to fog that up. Try not to drag it on the desk. So now that's kind of foggy and hopefully that diffuses the LEDs a little better. Okay, so that lays down in there pretty nice. Now these tabs that I'm we put on here. that plexiglass in there. Keep it from falling out. On to the lighting. I'll put a link to these in the description, an affiliate link. So if you click on it, I'll make a little bit of money, but Either way, they're just lights that I bought for something else and have. So these have um, these have like a nice gel coat over the top of them. I use them on the barrel boat, and this was an extra strand. And we'll see how far that, how many times I can get stuff wrapped around here. They have sticky on the back. And I think it's a little better. Than average. I've used some others. I don't know how many rounds we're going to go. We're going to go as many as we can. place on these that you're supposed to cut them. So read up on that if you do this. I didn't clip that other wire in there. Put our back on. Just let our tail hang out the bottom right there. Get a little centered up. These have arrows on them. Okay, I have this that I've never run back because we use the, the 
it just plugs one more round into what was on the barrel boat. There we go, we are on air. Technically, I know that we're just recording, but on air it sure seems cooler. So this has a little thing to pull out from under the battery, and hopefully, there, we'll just put it on your head. So at the end of the day, it's turned out pretty pretty cool. I'm gonna hang it up. You guys will see it in future YouTube videos, I'm sure. And while I know you may not have a CNC plasma or whatever, uh, if you ever want to do something like this, get a hold of me. I mean, if I have the material that so I don't have to order a whole new sheet and I don't have to paint it and do any of that, I'd, I'd be glad to try and help out. So just let me know what you have going from anything from 14 foot entryway gate to down to just something kind of small and fun like this. Check out Dragon Slayer Industries. I'll put a link in the description. If you got a little bit of value or had some fun with this, hit the like button, maybe hit the subscribe button if you feel like it. I'll see you down the road. Thank you.